Okay, now for the answers. Make sure you at least attempt to answer the questions. It's okay if you get these wrong or didn't know how to answer them. You'll get these with experience and by following the rule of following the signal. Problem one. So power is coming through and all the devices are switched on. That means the power signal is good. We don't have to worry about that. Next, we check the audio signal. Is audio being sent out of the CDJ and into the mixer? I first check to make sure the RCAs are connected at the back of the CDJ and also make sure that the RCAs are connected at the back of the mixer. As it turns out, the RCAs aren't connected securely at the back of the mixer. Once I plug them in properly, then I can see a signal coming through on the channel indicator lights. Bonus points if you also thought of the input channel selector, make sure it is set to the CDJ and not phono. Problem two, we have the signal coming through with indicator lights, but still no sound going out to the speakers. Since we've already checked the power signal, let's continue checking the audio signal. Let's make sure the audio signal is coming out of the mixer and into the speaker. We look at the back of the mixer and ensure the XLR cables are plugged in properly. We then follow the XLR cables to the speaker and make sure that they are plugged in to the speaker properly as well. As it turns out, the XLRs weren't connected to the back of the speaker properly. We plug them into the speaker properly and sound starts coming out. Bonus points if you also thought of the crossfader channel select. Make sure the crossfader is switched off as it can throw off your fault checking process sometimes. Problem three. Okay, I've followed the power, followed the signal, and followed the volumes to get sound coming out of the speakers. However, since the audio signal cuts in and out when I touch the RCA connector, it seems like the RCA cable is damaged. That means I need to replace the RCA cable. A quick reminder, make sure you always have spare cables with you at all times. The way I would replace the RCA cable without interrupting the music for everyone is to let this current song finish, then mix in another song on the other CDJ. Let's call it CDJ2. Once the song on CDJ2 is playing and I've faded out the song on CDJ1, I'll disconnect the faulty RCA on CDJ1 and replace it with a spare one. I'll then make sure it is properly connected and that I can see a signal coming out of the channel indicator to show that it's working. Then when the song on CDJ2 finishes, I'll fade in a new song on CDJ1. In this scenario, the crowd wouldn't even notice that I was troubleshooting a problem with the RCA cable. 